So what's going on guys? I got the chance to watch Hawkeye episodes 1 and 2 and y'all I am so excited to talk about it But if you're new to the channel, what's going on? My name is Leo Rydell and this is Geekly Goods where we talk the latest in movies, TV, a little sprinkle of anime in there as well Hit that big red subscribe button below. We will be covering Hawkeye every week I'm gonna switch to reactions when I get a little better But for now I am going to dive into a spoiler review for Hawkeye you guys and I gotta say these first two episodes are really freaking good. We're back with this MCU-like formula, and I'm... Hey, look, I'm not complaining, y'all. I have enjoyed what, I what I've watched, excuse me, so far. And I gotta say, the first episode is very much a Kate Bishop-centric episode. Really introduces her into the MCU. And I think it does a really good job of getting Haley Steinfeld's character into the MCU, getting her with Clint, catching her up with all everything that's going on. And she's just such a great Kate Bishop. I think that she has the charisma. She's got the look. She's got the moves, man. She is such a great Kate Bishop so far. And I am loving her dynamic with Clint and how it's unfolding kind of slowly. We're going to see it more and more as the series progresses. But... I really liked what I saw out of Kate Bishop, and I'm so curious as to how she's going to unravel her mother's fiance, his name is Jack, how she's going to unravel his involvement in all of this. Now we've got the tracksuit mafia from the comics here in, in Hawkeye, and I like that they're using them as like the thugs, and I believe where they're leading with Jack is that he's swordsman, which is a Hawkeye enemy. So I'm thinking that's where they're going with that, but I'm not entirely sure. Look, I'm just going to jump. This is a spoiler. This is a spoiler. You've been warned. I'm just going to jump to the end of episode two because that is exactly what I just saw. Y'all, Echo. We saw Echo and I thought, holy crap, the show is coming. Echo's here. What a cool reveal there at the end of episode two. Okay, backing up to episode one. Very heavy focused on Kate Bishop. We establish who she is, where she's at in the MCU. And I love getting to follow this character through the first episode for the most part. I mean, we do get some Clint and of course we do get Clint's family and things like that, but very, very Kate Bishop centric episode. And we follow her, her mother, her mother's fiance, her mother's fiance loses his uncle who was clearly involved in some shady dealings, but lost him kate is attacked by the uh tracksuit mafia she's intercepted by clint saved by clint meets lucky the pizza dog really cool first episode there in the second episode we're tracking clint trying to find the ronin suit and which was stolen from from kate bishop and trying to to get home to his family which he can't He's got one more day, he knows, okay, I can't go back to Christmas until I solve this crime. We get to see some cool espionage stuff from Clint. He like sneaks into a crime scene and puts on a firefighter costume. And I'm like, this is like really cool to see the espionage side of Clint Barton because we're so used to seeing him shoot arrows right on target. We're very used to the, the Hawkeye that's the hero jumping off a of building, scaling buildings. We're not used to like that sneaky espionage like behavior. So I love that. I loved what we got to see out of this episode. And I really am looking forward to so much more. Clint and, and Kate have some really good banter so far. I really like Haley and Jeremy Renner going back and forth. It's just really cool. And I know that there is going to get more comedic as time goes. Look. It's the duos, man. Marvel's been killing it this year. Loki and Sylvie, Wanda and Vision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, dude, they are killing it with the duos. And Clint and Kate are no different. They're no different. And I like that we got some more Clint in the second episode. Didn't have a big problem without his presence in the first. But I think maybe some people will feel a certain way not getting too much Clint. But let's be real here. The show's called Hawkeye. It's an opportunity to pass on the mantle. So it's about both of them. And I think that it does a really good job of balancing both characters and their roles in the show, especially in episode two. Episode one, very Kate centric. And I don't have a problem with that because it introduces and establishes that character. Episode two, very much a little bit of a mix. And we see Kate 
confronting Jack in that second episode. And we see that clearly he's involved because there's some butterscotch candies that were found at the scene in the first one. Now we see Jack with the butterscotch candies. Things are starting to unfold, you guys. Echoes at the end of that second episode. So there's going to be some involvement with her. Y'all, you got to let me know down in the comments what you thought about this episode. Because, guys, I am very impressed so far. Shot well. Looks like the MCU. Feels like the MCU. We're back down to the street level. Because we have been in the cosmic MCU with the Eternals and WandaVision and Loki. And those shows have been very cosmic and grander in scale. Even Shang-Chi, or excuse me, Shang-Chi, got to that level by the end of the movie. Now we're back down on the street, back into the hand-to-hand -hand combat MCU. Guys, I am rolling, which, by the way, the hand-to-hand -hand combat looks great. Marvel with this fight choreography, they just come out of the gate with good fight choreography, almost always. Great music, the score is cool. The Actually, the song that it ended on in episode two was really dope love what i'm seeing so far also the way that people have reacted to clint as a hero we don't see that often i mean you know we got to see that with nat and other avengers but we haven't got to see it with clint so getting to see people like hail him as a hero is really cool let me know your thoughts down in the comments though guys i'm thinking next week if not next week after i will be starting reactions so you'll get to see exactly how i feel as it's happening guys but let's have this conversation and if you're new to this channel you should hit that big red subscribe button for your boy we'll see you next time on geekly goods